Welcome to the Aquasol iPurge and iPurgeX assembly tutorial. This video covers the steps required to correctly assemble and prepare your iPurge system for use. The most important step in configuring your iPurge is installation of gas supply lines. Prior to positioning the iPurge into the pipe, the user must decide if the black secondary purge hose will be used. This is especially useful for larger pipe diameters where purging volumes are significantly larger. In order to use the black purge hose, you will need to remove the red plug and install the included 3 8 hose barb. Now you are ready to connect an inner gas supply to the black purge hose. Next, connect the blue purge hose to an inner gas supply. Be sure that the flow rate output for this gas supply can be regulated to the appropriate requirements. Please see operation video for further details. If analysis of gas in the weld zone is required, the white exhaust tube should be connected to an oxygen monitor. It is recommended to use Aquasol's ProOx 100 oxygen monitor to obtain the best results. The next step in assembly is to connect the module A to the high heat harness. Simply push to connect. Repeat the same step for the module B. The unit is now ready for use. For high heat or preheated welding applications, extended harnesses should be used. These are available in standard lengths of 12, 24, 36, 48, and 72 inches. Longer or custom lengths are available upon request. To connect the extended harness, simply remove the standard harness by pressing down on the quick connect fitting, both on the module A and module B. Once the standard harness is removed, simply push the extended high heat harness into the module A and the module B to complete the system. 